morning, Ahmedabad. Uh, well, I can have a uh, good morning from the front side, very energetic. But uh, the, our guys, good morning. Good morning. Well, myself, Ashwath, uh, I'm basically from uh, Mangaluru, a coastal city of Karnataka. And I'm here to share a journey of entrepreneurship of, uh, for the last uh, six years. Well, how many of you would like to be an entrepreneur? Well, one, you're already an entrepreneur. <laughs> no, okay. Well, I'm here to share um, my good and bad experiences of entrepreneurship for the last uh, five years. By the way, I'm just uh, 25 now. I started my entrepreneur journey at the age of 19. Well, dear friends, actually, um, I never wanted to be an entrepreneur. I never wanted to be, I, dreamt, I never dreamt about a businessman, actually. In fact, I wanted to be a lawyer, an advocate. One fine day, when I was returning from my college after taking that admission card, I met with an accident. So, I'm an accidental entrepreneur. <laughs> well, I'm, a, I'm an accidental entrepreneur. I never dreamt about uh, being an entrepreneur. Well, one, the doctor, after that accident, doctor suggested me to take bed rest for six months. And that six month was a turning point of my life. And I started thinking about some innovative stuff and contributing something to the na uh, nation and to the nature. Because I am from an um, agriculture-based family in Mangaluru, and we worship nature. See, I had an aracanut uh, palm. Uh, aracanut, uh, we used to grow aracanuts, that uh, uh, coastal uh, crop, uh, actually commercial crop of coastal Karnataka. One fine day, I saw a self-help group, wom women's self-help group, manufacturing palm leaf plates, a uh, leaf plates made out of uh, fallen leaves of aracanut tree. And it was very interesting. And I asked them, what do you do? They said, uh, we are just supplying these leaf plates to the uh, uh, hotels and some events. And I got, I got an idea, why can't we export these uh, plates to European country and why can't we introduce as alternatives to plastics and paper plates? Well, I just got some few samples from them, polished it and exported through, uh, I just hand out some samples to my friend in Tirupur. Tirupur is an export hub of southern India. And with, the, with help, his help, my first shipment at the age of 19, I uh, supplied around 25,000 pieces of palm leaf plates made from fallen leaves of aracanut and manufactured by a self-help uh, group of Mangaluru. And with the investment of 30,000 bucks from which I borrowed from my mom, and I made a profit of 18,000 rupees at the age of 19. And that was my first income. Well, <laughs> dear friends, then I started uh, thinking about expanding. Slowly and gradually, we have started exporting more than um, four consignments, four containers, that is almost uh, 200,000 plates per month to the European countries. Well, it was a remarkable achievement from our side, and we got very good response from the European countries. At the same time, while doing this business in Bangaluru, City Municipality Corporation imposed ban on plastics. And it was a very strict one. I was using a lot of plastics to pack my plates and daily needs. And Mangalore City Municipality Corporation said, oh, you can't use plastics. What are the alternatives? Suddenly, one Mr. Dr. B.M. Hegde, my mentor, he suggested me, Ashok, why can't you introduce alternatives to plastics? And I thought paper bags and uh, carry, uh, cloth bags will be a better alternatives to plastics. And we have started supplying um, we decided to uh, supply 50,000 carry bags, in fact, for free of cost to the residents of Mangalu Mangaluru to uh, support them, encourage them to use eco-friendly products. And one day, while distributing these cloth bags to the residents, one fisherwoman stood up and asked me, are you the guy behind plastic ban? I said, no, we are just supplying uh, cloth bags as alternatives to support them. Okay. Tell me, answer my question. How can I supply, how can I sell 20 rupees worth fish in your 15 rupees carry bag? 
and <laughs> that was a serious one i had i never thought of it and it was really very very important question and uh, she is the one behind nv green she is the real motivator i don't know who is she but the she is the real motivator to me start nv green well then i started looking about alternatives i thought paper bags can be better option so no paper equally expensive and it cannot be reused then we started looking for biodegradable carry bags our few friends europe i asked them to send some samples and i got to know it is very expensive i have been to a couple of manufacturers in india and uh, neighboring countries and most of them were manufacturing compostable plastics by adding calcium carbonate talc and uh, polypropylene mixing with pbat etc etc the actual constant was only 10 to 15% remaining 18% again the plastic then we decided to look and uh, for an 100% biodegradable alternatives we formed an r&d team in mangaluru um, with the help of few of my european friends after this struggle of 4 years in 2016 february 26 we launched our first product in qatar in fact in the I, uh, in the meantime i moved to qatar for business purpose we launched our first 100% biodegradable carry bags in qatar and it was very very nice and we got amazing support more than 13 ambassadors joined us and for the first time in the history of qatar government of qatar celebrated environment day and they supported us supported an indian company which introduced 100% biodegradable plastics and we got very good support from the government of qatar well what is nv green i think you have already seen in our uh, audio video uh, video now these are nv green bags and i just want to show how it degrades you can eat it it is not edible we don't want to promote it as an edible but if any animals consumes it by accidentally it will become their food because most of in india we uh, more than 60% of cows dying every year just because of the plastic and here is a an alternative which can dissolve in normal water and hot water as well we have two products which dissolves in normal water and hot water okay it's already dissolved i think well this is for you recently there was a very big flood in mumbai and uh, most of the metropolitan cities like karnataka bengaluru mumbai and delhi we face lot of artificial flood like situation every year the real reason behind this artificial flood are plastics plastics that chocks that drainage water flow and because of that that drainage water comes out into road and we face every year we facing artificial flood like situation so if we start using biodegradable alternatives or biodegradable carry bags or our daily use we can easily come out of these problems that is why i call invigreen is the solution for india's plastic problem dear friends india produces more than 52 million tons of plastics every year dear friends it is a very 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 big problem for us well in karnataka we have launched this project in uh, 2016 july after the uh, support of prakash javadekar by then environment minister we have successfully implemented a pilot run and it was a very very uh, supportive and um, uh, successful run in karnataka now we are going for nationwide launch dear friends what is nv green and why nv green nv green is made out of natural starch and by um, vegetable waste and oil derivatives dear friends these bags are it looks like plastic but it is not plastic it burns like paper but it is not paper you can carry it you can it is more economical than any other alternatives in the world available in the world and it is more than that it is 100% made in india we are the first company in india to produce 100% biodegradable alternatives to plastics and we produce pellets as well dear friends while in this entrepreneurial journey i had learned a lot about um, i learned a lot from my last 6 years journey of uh, social entrepreneurship especially on in the green field most of the manufacturers in india plastic manufacturers in india 
uh, they don't want to switch to compostable or biodegradable one because it is not pro profit making business to them. Nowadays, plastics available um, in the market at 120, 130 rupees per kilo, but any other alternatives, it is more than double. I mean, 250 to 300, 380 and all. So it is very difficult to promote these kind of products in Indian market. That is why they are not ready to switch on biodegradable one. Dear friends, but I had taken that risk to introduce something you know, innovative, something uh, special to the market so that you know we can contribute something to the um, better uh, for the better tomorrow and better nature dear friends in a day more than in Karnataka it produces it produces thousands of tons of plastic waste in a day and segregation of uh, plastic waste is a really big challenge to BBMP Bangalore municipal with Bangalore municipality uh, corporation at the same time uh, Ahmedabad also facing the same problem but dear friends it is our it is we have to take one decision. We have to take um, one uh, green pledge that let's not use plastic. We can go for reusable bags. I would say cloth bags are the best alternatives to plastics. If you want to reuse it, if you can reuse it day by day on your daily um, needs, for example, to buy groceries, to buy uh, any products on your shopping, you can just use cloth bags. You can carry a bag and that helps to uh, like you know uh, eradicate plastic problems in india if you can't use carry bags or cloth carry bags you can always go for biodegradable one dear friends bi biodegradable carry bags are not a new thing in the world it is already very popular in european countries like france has already banned plastics and most of the european countries have made mandatory rules on using biodegradable one but india we just ha we are just starting now in fact, Government of India has introduced a very nice um, initiative, Swachh Bharat. But we always like, you know, uh, you, uh, remember Swachh Bharat only on October 2nd for a selfie. Dear friends, let's come out of this selfie mania. Let's use plastics on our daily basis. And definitely, tomorrow's kids, tomorrow's children will definitely will remember us for uh, these great initiatives. Well, um, when coming back to entrepreneur journey, I would say in last six years, in last six years, I have experienced both ups and downs and um, I have experienced, in fact, I have listed in Forbes 30 under 30 Asia Achievers list. At the same time, five years ago, I was, I just walked more than 12 kilometers so, to save my five rupees, uh, which I kept it for my dinner. So I have seen both ups and downs. So being an entrepreneur is not an easy job. It is, you have to take a very big risk you have to be ready to face any any insults you have to ready to face any human uh, humility humility and all these things because there are people they will just ask your credibility before you start your business they'll just think about uh, they'll they're least bothered about your journey they're least bothered about your uh, struggles they are just bothered about the result so it is you who has to like you know introduce yourself that either you can win or you will lose loser so if you have a great willpower if you have great ideas if you have great plans definitely the world will accept you dear friends i'm just 25 now i'm from a very very middle class family I'm from mangalore and today i'm running a company which is operating in more than 12 countries and we are, we are getting very good support across the globe People are ready to use our bags. That is the power of entrepreneurship. Thank you for giving an opportunity. Thank you, Ahmadabad.